Hey guys, welcome to the show. Today we are unboxing the biggest fridge I've ever bought in my life. 719 liters in size. And we are going to be unboxing this because hopefully you're going to learn a lesson. And that is pay for premium installation because this guy is so heavy. Oh, I don't think I can actually unbox this on my own. I don't know how I'm going to unbox this. Nice, amazing padding. I think you found a new home. What do we do now? You can see that it does have wheels. So what we've got to do is get the fridge off the base. So right now I'm just calling up the good guys where we purchased this uh, magnificent fridge from to see if they can somehow install it for us. But I've just tried to um, move the fridge, but it's just too heavy. And I was wondering if it's possible to um, just pay something extra if someone can come and install it for me or even the same guys that came around today. Okay, so it wouldn't be, we couldn't call up the same people that came to pick up the washing machine again to collect it or... All right. Okay, no worries, cheers, bye. Okay, thanks, bye. Hey guys, if like me, you're trying to understand what all of these symbols means, I'm just gonna break it down to you. This is the front of the fridge. The front of the fridge has doors. So it's saying here, you can use these features of movement. You'll probably want to be looking at this trolley feature. It says, don't use the trolley on the front because you don't want to scoop the trolley in here, lay it back, the doors are going to get damaged. This is the back. <laughs> this one, you can use the clamps in the warehouse for the back is at the end over here, clamp below this line, and you can also use the trolley here. So, so don't kick it and then don't make it fall over and don't carry it on your back. <laughs> now that we've got someone to help us take it off the phone, which my add was an old racer. He used to race Mustang cars with a bit of a lot of this elbow power, gun power, helped both Ash and I together, might say the, the young ones, he helped us to take it off with the trolley. Um, he literally carried the whole fridge by himself. I was like, Ash, go round, go round, help him, help him. 100, 150 kg fridge, by the way. And he was just holding it like, you ready? Come on, you ready? Oh, he's such a legend, man. And so now we're just gonna move it into the right place in the kitchen and we're gonna install it. Oh my God. Lesson, lesson is do not cheap out with the installation. Please. Or just, or just have a wheelbarrow handle. Yeah, have a trolley. A trolley. A have trolley. a trolley. Straight. Keep going straight and then I'll get you to stop. And here we've got some piping. So it does come with some piping for the water line. It also comes with some instructions as well as to how to use it. So I'm just reading through the manual. It's very, actually, it's really interesting. I don't usually read through manuals, but this one is actually, I would recommend reading it. So let's take a look. So when you are moving your fridge, it does say to prevent uh, any damage to the fridge, you must move it forwards and backwards, not wiggling because that actually damages the fridge itself. And also it does say um, to prevent floor damage, you should actually change. Uh, you need to level the refrigerator. It does tell you quite helpfully how to do that. So at the bottom here, there is a control lever that if you turn it clockwise, you actually raise the refrigerator up. And if you do anti-clockwise, it raises it down. That actually helps you to push your fridge, which is what we were having difficulties doing. And if you've got timber flooring, that's obviously going to damage it. So clockwise to lift it, anti-clockwise to, to, to reduce it down back to normal again. Dear Samsung, I look like, oh, I look really bad. Dear Samsung, other than I look really bad, please, for the love of all the gods out there in the world, Put the manual in the box outside the fridge. So like when you unbox it, you can see the manual and know, and know, and know how you're supposed to move it. What is the point of, oh, well, yeah, you you, now, now, now we found out. So another actually interesting feature that it does tell you is it tells you how to install the water line dispenser, the water dispenser line. So it has a really step-by-step um, guide to do this. It does say it gives you new hose sets. So do not use any old hose sets. They shouldn't be reused. So what it does do, and again, this is inside the fridge, so don't panic. It does give you a white hose set. This one attaches to your tap directly. Now I'm not too sure how long this is. I'm going to guess it's two meters, so it might not be enough for us. And then basically it has a little, um, a stop cock or something inside here, which basically um, allows you to put the flow on or off. And then this connects to the fridge around the back. It does say if you don't have 
like we're quite fortunate we've already somebody's already done this in our life but if you don't have the ability to connect this onto the tap it does tell you what you need to do so it tells you that you need to have a pipe clamp you need to have a shut off valve and you need to have the cold water line and it does say these are things you need to buy from bunnings if you haven't got them already so this is actually quite useful i would say don't panic if you if you're able to read and you've got a little bit handy then you might be able to install it yourself Obviously, if you aren't handy and you're not able to read, then you may want to use the Good Guys services, which is $219 for installation and fit. Okay, so according to the manual, to not scratch the floor, we can actually raise up the bottom of the refrigerator using a flathead screwdriver and turning it in a clockwise position. So let's take a look and see. Right. It might be already turned. It's not taking slightly. So we look at it here. There's thick holes, and then there's a thin one. Don't use the thin one. I'm getting success with the thick ones. So, just slightly the thick one here. Is the fridge going up? Yeah, the fridge is going up. All right, I've been rotating it clockwise, which raises the fridge. Now, raising the fridge makes it harder to move. According to manual, you need to raise the feet to allow it to move. So I think what it means is you need to rotate it counterclockwise to lower the fridge, but that raises the stands because the shorter the stands are, when the stands are raised, that means the sh fridge is going down. So we're rotating it counterclockwise and hopefully it'll be easier to <laughs> Thanks, Samsung. Okay, we got two options. We can set up the fridge in the fridge location or we can set up the fridge in that location over there. We are in the middle of a kitchen renovation. So for us, we're open-minded where we store it. Do you want to put the fridge? I think this pop it over there, like you said. Okay. We are, we're going to see if it fits, you know, it's going to be fun. <laughs> go straight, go straight. All right, guys, breaking update. We decided to not put the fridge in there because it would have been sticking out too much. And we do want to just renovate this kitchen. So we figured to uninstall the cabinets and all that stuff, what's the point of sticking it there? So we're going to be putting it in this nice empty space over here. And that's actually pretty difficult because it means we're going to have to do this fridge movement all over again. so much fun in the kitchen. And there is actually like cellophane over here, but I kind of don't want to take it off, so I'm going to leave that one to Ash, because I know he won't want to take it off either. <laughs> oh my goodness me, there is so much. Now this stuff you do have to take off. You can check out all of the drawers of the fridge, the compartments. So over here you've got your, this actually, this fridge freezer, it allows you to have this compartment by itself with its own temperature. This can be a freezer or this can be a fridge and a freezer or a freezer. And this whole thing is the fridge. So it's pretty nifty. Um, and it looks like it's all there, it's all intact. It does come with a filter over here, it's a water filter, which you should change every, they say six monthly, um, and it costs about $75 and it helps to purify the water that you're gonna have with your ice cube makeup. And over here you've got some more drawers, which I believe um, go into this insert over here of the door. So without further ado, Now I wouldn't know, is that a fly? What is that? What is that? There's a fly in there. No. That's a, is that a fly? Samsung, what's going on with you guys? Premium quality fridge, comes with free with a fly. Why not put that in your marketing material? This is it, this is it. This is the moment you've been waiting for. The moment we've been waiting for this hour long documentary about unboxing the fridge. All right, guys, guys, we are ready. Hey guys. The moment we've been waiting for in this hour long documentary <laughs> about why you need to get premium delivery when getting your fridge. I've got an energy rating of 665 watts. We're in Australia. Hopefully, we'll get that free from the sun. You ready? Yes. You gonna turn it on? No, you turn it on. Go on, you gotta turn it on. She plugged it in. She's the what lady? One, two, three. 
Sun. Okay, so it does take time, you said, doesn't it? We plugged it in. Apparently, actually, you have to wait for a bit of time. Well, the, the salesman said you wait 24 hours before it starts getting cold, or it will get cold to a good level after 24 hours. It is making a slight ticking sound. Hopefully, it's not a dodgy motor. Samsung! Hopefully, yeah, it's not a Usually, motor. fridges make a noise anyway. They're not silent. Yeah, but it should have sound. I think it's just warming up. It's just warming it's just up. Starting. Just warming it's just starting. Up. Okay, so the temperature of the fridge should be between one and seven degrees. So actually, I'm quite happy with it's already preset three and minus 19 degrees. So I'm going to let it just do its thing, let it calm down and cool down, and we're going to catch up in 24 hours. Ooh, I love fridge. It's a nice fridge, isn't it? It's getting cooler. I can feel it getting cooler, but it still needs some time. So we're not going to play with it too much because we don't want to burn out the motor. We're just going to keep it closed and we're gonna let it do its thing for 24 hours.